sensitive to red, green, and blue light. Okay. Mix those signals in the brain, and bam, you get every color you've ever experienced, from the deepest violet to the brightest yellow. What's going on guys? It's your boy Savage 68 back again with another video and today we're exploring something very different because I was scrolling around and I was trying to do a challenge from YouTube which is are you colorblind? But there was nothing that I could find. It was just a bunch of web links and everything to the actual challenge and I stumbled upon a video that I found to be interesting. Apparently scientists have explored and discovered a brand new color. Now, I don't know what that color is, but we're going to find out. So, if you guys are enjoying the content uh, below, be sure to comment, subscribe, and like the video. We, we messed that up and everything because we're, we're so focused on what this video is. But you guys know what the tradition is. Now, let's go find out what these scientists have explored and find with this new color. Pull up on the video. I am very curious to see what this new color is. Why can't you see this new color yet? I want to see. They haven't. What if I told you there's a color, a real color, okay. that no human had ever seen until literally just now? Think about the world around you. Red. Also, red, by the way, this video was just posted like a day ago. So this is like new, new. Green, blue, the whole rainbow spilling across the sky okay. after a storm. The vibrant pixels on your phone screen. Okay. It feels complete, right? Like we've got the whole spectrum covered. We've got our three types of color seeing cells in our mm -hmm. eyes, the cones, sensitive to red, green, and blue light. Okay. Mix those signals in the brain and bam, you get every color you've ever experienced from the deepest violet to the brightest yellow. Okay. Seems like a closed system. What more could there be? Well, hold on to your eyeballs because scientists just hijacked the human visual system to make people see something entirely new. A color that doesn't exist in nature. A color you can't paint, you can't put on a screen. A color seen for the very first time ever. This year, 2025. They call it Olo. Olo. Now, how is that even possible? Didn't I just say our eyes only have hardware for red, green, and blue? Yes. What is Olo? Key. Here's the weird bit about how our color vision actually works. Those cones, especially the green and red ones, have massively overlapping sensitivities. When light hits your eye, it's basically impossible for only your green cones to get activated. Any light that tickles the green cones okay. inevitably tickles the red or blue ones too, at least a little bit. Nature simply never sends a pure, 100% green cone only signal to your brain. Ever. Think about it. Your brain has literally never received that specific message in the entire history of human evolution. So the big question a team at UC Berkeley asked was, what would the brain do if it did receive that impossible signal? What color, if any, would it conjure up if it got input labeled zero red, 100% green, zero blue? Would it just show regular green? Would it crash? Or would it create something new? To find out, they had to build something pretty wild. A system nicknamed Oz. Yeah, like the Emerald City, and you'll see why. This wasn't just shining a fancy flashlight. Okay. Oz uses cutting-edge adaptive optics, the kind of tech astronomers use to get clear pictures of stars, to map the exact location and type of every single cone cell in a volunteer's retina. Then using a high-resolution scanning laser, it zaps tiny targeted pulses of light onto individual cone cells. Micron accuracy. But here's the genius part. They used a specific green laser. Normally, that would hit both green and red cones. But Oz is smart. It tracks the eye's tiniest movements in real time. And it's programmed to only fire the laser pulse when the beam is directly over a green cone. When it passes over a red or blue... So what is the Olo color? I'm, I'm curious now. Cone. Nothing. Silence. It effectively painted an image onto the retina, pixel by pixel, or rather, cone by cone, using only the green cones. They created a stimulus pattern that nature forbids. So five volunteers, including three of the researchers themselves, brave souls, sat in a dark room, head clamped, 
biting down on a bar to stay perfectly still, while Oz meticulously painted a small square patch of this impossible signal onto their retinas, about the size of your fingernail held at arm's length. And what did they see? Not just green. They saw Olo. They described it as a blue-green, but with an intensity, a saturation, that was completely off the charts. A hyper-saturated teal that made everything else look dull. How intense. In tests, they tried to match Olo using a standard adjustable color source. The only way they could get close was by adding white light to the reference color, effectively washing it out into a pale teal. Olo itself was just more. More saturated than any color they could produce otherwise. Ren Ung, one of the lead scientists, called the first sight of it jaw-dropping. Austin Rorta, another lead, said when they switched off the precise M-cone targeting, letting the laser hit other cones just slightly, making Olo vanish. The regular green laser light that replaced it looked almost yellowish and washed out by comparison. Imagine that, a pure laser beam looking dull. That's how potent Olo felt. The name Olo, by the way, comes from that binary code idea, zero red, one green, zero blue, or zero one zero. What? Turn zero one zero sideways. Kind of looks like OLO. -O. A bit playful, acknowledging the almost magical trick they pulled off. So why is this such a big deal? Okay. I mean, okay, five people saw a freaky teal. Cool story. But it fundamentally challenges what we thought we knew about vision. For centuries, the idea was three cones. That defines our color world. Okay. Game over. To see new colors, you'd need new hardware. Like some animals have four cones or rare human tetrachromats. This experiment says, nope, even with our standard issue eyeballs, there was a hidden potential. Our brain can process signals outside the normal operating range. It can generate a novel experience, a new color sensation from an unnatural input. It reveals our brain's color processing machinery is more flexible, more capable of interpreting the unexpected than we gave it credit for. Evolution never served up a pure M-cone signal so we never knew the brain had a recipe for it? Now we do. It's like finding a hidden level in the video game of human perception. Okay. This discovery isn't just a scientific curiosity. It cracks open a door to fascinating possibilities. Think about it. First, understanding vision itself. Oz gives scientists an unprecedented tool to poke and prod at the very foundations of how we see. How does the brain build our visual world, signal by signal? How does it adapt to completely new kinds of input? Does seeing Olo permanently change how those five people perceive blue-greens? We can finally start asking these basic but thought-provoking questions that were impossible to test before. Then there are the practical applications. Imagine using Oz to simulate vision loss by selectively deactivating certain cone signals in a healthy so volunteer. You can... Researchers could experience firsthand what it's like to have macular degeneration or other retinal diseases. It's like a flight... So wait, they can actually make a person that has perfect vision go into blurry or blind? What? Hold on. Simulator for blindness, potentially leading to better diagnostics, therapies, or assistive devices. And what about color blindness? Okay. Could this tech offer a glimpse of missing colors? For someone red-green color blind... Could Oz stimulate their remaining cones in a pattern that mimics what the missing ones would have sent? Could it temporarily grant them a fuller spectrum of vision? Maybe even introduce them to Olo? It wouldn't be a cure. The eye hardware is still the same. But imagine the experience. One researcher even speculated about simulating tetrachromacy, giving a normal person the experience of seeing with a fourth type of cone, like some birds do. Ooh. Adding a whole new dimension to color. Pure speculation for now, but the possibility is suddenly on the table. And let's get really sci-fi. Could we simulate animal vision? Use Oz to stimulate a human retina with patterns matching, say, a dog's or a bee's photoreceptors. Could we literally see the world through another creature's eyes color-wise? This hints at the ultimate display technology. Forget pixels on a screen. Imagine future VR or augmented reality headsets that bypass screens entirely and just write images directly onto your retina, cone by cone. Perfect clarity, 
perfect realism, maybe even displaying colors like Olo that no screen today could ever reproduce. Now, the researchers admit this is extremely futuristic and incredibly hard to engineer on a large scale. You won't be seeing Olo on your phone anytime soon, but the principle has been demonstrated. A direct retinal display isn't pure fantasy anymore. Now, let's pump the brakes slightly. Is Olo really a brand new fundamental color, like discovering purple? Or is it just an impossibly intense version of blue-green? Some experts lean towards the latter. It's not adding a new hue to the color wheel, but pushing the saturation of an existing one way, beyond natural limits. But from the perspective of the people who saw it, it felt like something entirely new, unlike any familiar sensation. The subjective experience was undeniably novel, and that novelty sparked imagination elsewhere. The artist Stuart Semple, famous for his super pigments like the pinkest pink, mm. immediately jumped on the hype. He created a new paint called YOLO, You Only Live Once, aiming to capture the essence of Olo in a physical pigment. It's described as an extremely vivid turquoise. Okay. Of course, as the scientists gently pointed out, no paint or screen can truly replicate Olo. You need the laser targeted directly onto your M cones. Semple's YOLO is a fun tribute, a testament to how captivating the idea of a new color is. Okay. But it's not the real deal. It highlights the gap between chemical pigments and direct neural stimulation. To help us mere mortals imagine Olo, the scientists offered analogies. Think about seeing only pastel pinks your whole life, and then suddenly someone shows you the most intense, vibrant, saturated fire engine red. Ooh. You might even call it a different that looks color like category a cool... because the intensity is so radically different. Or imagine comparing a regular green object to a flawless emerald gemstone catching direct sunlight under a magnifying glass. That leap in purity and depth is kind of like comparing normal teal to Olo. It's familiar, yet utterly alien in its intensity. So what does this all mean for us? It means our reality, our perceived world, isn't as fixed as we think. Our biology sets limits, yes, but technology can, apparently, nudge those limits. It reminds us that what we experience isn't the whole picture. There might be entire dimensions of sensory information around us that our evolved hardware simply isn't tuned to receive. Ola was hiding in plain sight within the potential of our own retinal cells, waiting for a clever trick to reveal it. And it leaves us with tantalizing questions. Olo came from isolating the M cone. What happens if we could perfectly isolate the S cone, the blue one? Would we get an impossible blue? What about other unnatural combinations, stimulating red and blue cones but not green? Could there be a whole palette of these impossible colors accessible only through technology? How does the brain even store the memory of a color it has never seen before and likely will never see again naturally? The discovery of Olo isn't an endpoint. It's the opening of a new chapter in sensory science. We found one hidden color unlocked by shooting lasers into eyeballs. It makes you wonder, what else is lurking just beyond the edge of our senses, waiting for the right key, the right technology, the right... Okay, so I, I honestly... Let, let's go back from... from this right now and all that stuff. But... They're, they're saying that there, there's a laser that was made to shoot into those, like, little, co little, little color cones in the eyeball, and now we're seeing a new color. That is honestly so weird, because they say it's like a, satur like a super hyper saturated teal color, almost like a bluish green. I was going to go to Photoshop and see what I can do, but they said we can't even do that now. So, that's honestly crazy. Hopefully, I mean, they said that they can put it in VR and everything. Not now, but like sometime in the future. So, I mean, if, if we do end up getting a chance to see what Ola looks like, let's try and see. From from what I heard, it looks like some fantasy type stuff. Not like it's fake, but like it, it's out of this world. So watch out. Hopefully we get to see what Ola looks like. But 
It's your boy Savage Gamer 68. Stay savage, stay gamer. And I'm sorry if I didn't talk much in this video. I was so invested in this because I thought that this was something that we can actually see. And we it hasn't been like uh, released yet. So we got our first sneak peek of what the future has in store for us. See you guys in the next one.